taken a look at this XPEV here, and as far as trades go, I mean, you could do worse. You know, that's a little island right there, okay? Uh, that one. So whenever you get these islands, the... The concept is, you know, that's going to be a hard rejection of that lower level. So that's a, a nice hypothesis if you really wanted to. Look what you got. You got, I don't know, somebody came in and bought right there. That's uh, pretty good buying power to move it up like that. So you could make the case that this is institutional buying. I mean, look at this one. That's certainly some kind of powerful buying up here to get these gaps right here and these huge gaps, and then, you know, exhaustion gap, but, uh, wow, that's, that's quite a range, looking like here, maybe, maybe something, huh, maybe that's not right, maybe something closer to this 50 is right, for where the guys start to come in and say, nah, I want no part of this, and they back off the buy-in, look, you're going to want institutional sponsorship of this stock, meaning, institutions got to be buying this but for right now i think you're at an okay spot if you got your heart set on getting long this thing for whatever kind of ev future that we're supposedly going to have but you know keep in mind that this is where you're going to have to put your stop right uh 22 half so call it 22 and a quarter maybe all right, because if this thing goes south, you want no part of that, right? Uh, I do know this. The saying goes, once these island reversals are breached, like if price does happen to break way down through it, uh, you know, it's over. Those things are like, nobody's buying that. Because the, the whole concept is that this is a powerful reversal and that all this volume in here is institutions soaking up all the supply, right? Well, if that turns out to be wrong and you've got a stock that just goes, blows through that, that level there, okay, this low, uh, you know, this low here, if that turns out to be wrong, well, then that will turn out to be wrong, right? The institutions are not buying this. That thing goes south. You want no part of that because then there's there's nobody buying it here after this kind of a powerful move. So look, you could look to get long in this thing somewhere like, oh, right here, you know, somewhere down here if you wanted to look for what? I guess you would have to get a move out. But then what you'd expect is some kind of a little pullback before a real kind of power move higher, I guess, is what you want, because, yeah, you want a power move like this one was here, this whole big, uh, you know, right there, or, hey, this whole power move up in here, that's, that's what you want to catch, okay, and generally, in order to get those, you're going to need these nice rounded kind of bases with a, you know, like a tight, tightish area, you want that general shape right there, which, you know, I don't know if you're getting that here. I don't see it. Do you? Nah. I don't know. You could develop it maybe if you get that, and then maybe you get some kind of tightness in there. But, eh, you know, that's a that's a stretch. In any case, you do have this going on. You got, you got this on your side if you're a bull, and then, you know, this. So, hey. Maybe you could do this, buy them at the bottom and, you know, sell them at the top there. Thanks for watching Paul Parr Merchants.